Today we're making fettuccine rigatti and serrano sauce. First, we're going to go ahead and make the serrano sauce. We have prepared serrano peppers, roasted in olive oil. We're going to be using about 10 of them. Notice that I cut the steams. And we're going to be using about a half of a garlic head. First, we're going to put one whole cup of olive oil and we're going to blend it. We're going to add another little bit more of oil, like a half cup, and then we'll check the thickness of the sauce. That should be enough. The sauce is ready. Now we're going to prepare the shrimp. shrimp. I'm going to add a little bit of cooking oil. Let it warm up a little bit on medium fire. And then I'm going to be adding the shrimp. We're going to fry the shrimp for about five minutes until each side turns red. And then we're going to add a little bit of lemon pepper and remove them from the skillet so we can begin to prepare the pasta. The pasta is now boiling and is almost ready for us to add it to the sauce. And finally, now I'm going to be adding a little bit of lemon pepper to the shrimp. Now that the shrimp are ready for right now, we'll go ahead and remove them and prepare the pasta with the sauce. Cook the shrimp to your taste. I like mine a little crispy. There we go. Everything that is here stays here in the pan. It just will add more into the flavor. Now we're going to be adding the pasta. Make sure that the fire is low or even better, make sure the fire is off. Otherwise you will get a lot of reaction from uh, the water from the pasta. So first we're going to be adding the pasta. We cook the pasta a little bit under al dente, not well cooked. Almost raw because it's going to be continue cooking in here. So this is the pasta and carefully we'll add it onto our pan. We have about 12 ounces of pasta. There we go. And now we're going to be adding the sauce. I will go ahead and stir it. Make sure that uh, the sauce is evenly mixed with the pasta. 
and we're going to be placing the shrimp on top. We're going to cover it and then cook for another five minutes in slow fire. And then it will be ready for us to serve. Now we're going to go ahead and taste it. We have added fresh tomatoes, cilantro, a little bit of uh, lemon. We're going to go ahead and taste the fettuccine rigatti and serrano sauce with garlic. Mm. Esto sí está muy rico. Enjoy.